Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Planet Zoo, where we get started. There we go, I was going to say that was a bit... <laughs> A bit of a hold on there, beginning, wasn't it? Uh, where we get started on a new build today, we're doing a, a tropical conservatory. Not that this biome really needs a tropical conservatory. It's like 42 degrees constantly. Um, but I really wanted to mess around. One of the build styles uh, that are in the beta at the moment that I haven't really messed around with is this: is these glass pieces, these glass walls and stuff that we're going to use as a, as a conservatory. Uh, sort of Victorian style, classic conservatory, to be honest with you. wanted to kind of keep it really simple, this one, and, uh, and just get to use these pieces and figure out how they work and stuff uh, but obviously still putting a bit of a twist on it the problem with these is because they are like four meter grid pieces you've really got to be careful for this not to get too boxy okay um really make sure that you're doing some height variations maybe even some angle variations that we're going to do a little bit later on as well uh, really make sure that you're getting some some differences in in height and, and distance there uh, else otherwise you do end up with a big glass box um, there is a reference image I'm using here from, I think it's Stuttgart Zoo. They have sort of classic conservatory there, so it's it's very loosely based on that. To be honest with you, I just wanted to kind of put it down using the grid system. So other than it being a glass conservatory from Victorian era, that's kind of about it really. <laughs> um, and we do place an animal in there because, uh, you know, it's a zoo game. I'm trying my hardest to keep an animal in every episode. There's one thing I did <laughs> I did do with Planet Coaster was quite often not have coasters in every episode, obviously, because, you know, most theme parks only have like five or six coasters probably. Um, but I am going to try and keep up with an animal per episode because, uh, let's be honest, it's a zoo game and I imagine a good chunk of you are here to see animals. Uh, although when we start a full series in the beta it may be that there are some episodes that are just sort of dealing with some guest needs and stuff as well so you know food courts and uh, and things like that they are uh, you know a big part of zoos so uh, there may be that fo focus on those but while it's beta while we're limited with our time i did want to make sure we get an animal in each one so in this glass conservatory we're putting some elephants in, i'm joking <laughs> we're putting some peacocks um one thing i was really hoping when we first saw peacocks come into the game was that we'd have the ability to let them be free roaming because most zoos um, that still have uh, free roaming peafowl. I should say peafowl, sorry. Peacock is just the males. Um, peafowls is that um, they have them, yeah, just pottering about really and they're scavengers for the most part, although they are still provided with food. Um, they will find bits of grain and stuff in the ground or they'll they'll quite happily take some hot dog bun as well, you know. They'll, they'll pretty much eat whatever they can get hold of. Um, they are in a decline in zoos, free roaming uh, peafowl are in decline in zoos, uh, mostly because of... Um, slightly just sort of changing opinion from the public uh, but also they 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 foxes and things and eagles get hold of them and, and uh, it's very difficult to sort of keep them uh, safe and, and secure with them just having uh, the free roam of the zoo and it's also very sort of difficult to sort of maintain their uh, their welfare and things like that so they are in a bit of a decline but personally uh, a peafowl wandering around a zoo is quite an iconic image I, I think so um, we, got, we aren't able to do that in the game because of the habitat system you do need that edge of path now uh, that edge of barrier even sorry where that where the the space is theirs and that makes sense i understand you know there's gameplay limitations and, and i'm okay with it there are a few things you can do i think I, i've had an idea of being able to make like a like a courtyard as you enter a zoo that's actually a habitat but all the sort of walls and habitat doors and stuff are hidden um uh, because the good thing about peafowl is they're, they're pretty easy going when it comes to what's on the ground and what's in around them and stuff so you could quite easily do it i think and make it look like it's a, a just a regular part of a zoo but actually it's secretly a walk through exhibit that nobody's really noticed i think that's probably the way i'll go about it in a later project um but here i thought you know what they can have a potter around inside here and that's not so bad um this is the first time though where the animals welfare and what i wanted to do with the exhibit were at odds and i had to kind of deal with that and we're still going to have to deal with that in the second part of this video where we go into a live section um because uh, i felt that it was fine but the peacocks weren't happy about it. And it, the main thing they weren't happy about was the amount of foliage. Um, as you can imagine, in this uh, greenhouse, I wanted to have a lot of foliage. I've kept it all to be the right sort um, because uh, it's uh, Indian. See, all I've done here, by the way, is move the building up out of the way so I could place down some trees. That's where that's gone, by the way. I just literally just take the whole thing and just went whoop, up in the air so I can do this comfortably without being too too bothered. So I've kept the, the right sort of stuff. It's Indian temperate. Uh, luckily, because it's Indian temperate, there are still some really fancy trees that you can have, like those beautiful cherry blossoms in the middle there. Um, 
I, I think if I wasn't putting animals in here, I would... Here's me just buying a few ready. If I wasn't putting animals in here, I'd have all different, like, palms and stuff, you know, make it really, truly tropical. I'm thinking what we might have to do is maybe another exhibit uh, that's an indoor, like, really sort of tropical indoor place as opposed to this. This is a more traditional sort of vintage uh, Victorian uh, greenhouse. Um, so we can get some more sort of, like, palms and maybe even, like, an indoor waterfall, that kind of thing. Uh, so I've kept the stuff to be right, so it's all the correct stuff as far as the peacock is concerned. There's just way too much of it as far as they're concerned. And also, the space is a little small as well. So I think what we're going to do in the live section is actually rip a little bit of the wall out, uh, add um, a second exit of the conservatory and open it out into a courtyard, basically, that can be just for the peacocks to roam around. We can get away with having a much less foliage, because it's a nice open space, um, and they can have both the room they need to get about and also a way to get away from guests a little bit and uh, and also a way of sort of bringing that ro uh, that foliage percentage down so that even though we're not having less foliage we're having more space that should hopefully bring the number down we're going to see how that works because i'm not too sure to be honest with you uh, here placing down some mulch in the middle for one of these gorgeous cherry blossoms you'll see i've just placed all the plants down there i just wanted to get an idea of size and scale of them and stuff uh, and then luckily uh, like i say in the indian theme there are a few different uh, flowers low-lying things like bracken and, and nettles and stuff and uh, really the main the main thing here was just to absolutely fill it with foliage as much as, much as possible uh, and I think it's turned out really quite good like I say even though I've limited myself to the temperate Indian stuff just for the peacock's sake uh, I actually think the um the look of it turns out pretty good and it still looks nice and full and, and slightly tropical so uh, that's good oh luckily the uh, the wisteria that gorgeous um, Indian wisteria is part of uh, of the temperate set so we're able to do that up on one of the walls as well have that climbing all the way up the glass looks uh, looks fantastic uh, I really love the classic set to be honest with you I think it's um it's not only good as its own set um, in, in being able to make these kind of Victorian buildings a lot of the pieces you can use elsewhere like some of this classic stuff I was using on the Indian build that we did for the Gariel yesterday uh, and it still works quite well especially these these this sort of fence piece I put down here um, I'm not too sure what the proper name for that sort of thing is unfortunately but uh, yeah here we go there so bamboo bamboo lots of that going in um, it's lovely stuff. It's all very high as well, I realise. I try and roughly judge it, knowing that I might have to tweak some of this. But when the building goes back over, pretty much every plant that we put down here sticks out. <laughs> um, so that's the next job, is to uh, to go back in and just sort of brain it all back in, pull it all in. Look at this wisteria, it's absolutely gorgeous. Fits so nicely. We had a couple of pieces of that in Planko. I'm so glad they fleshed that out for Plan Zoo because it's really, really nice. Um, I think it looks great, a really great way of filling, filling in walls. We go then just having a look at them. Um, yeah, their they, their welfare dips down into fine occasionally. They're hot as well, so I placed down a cooler. No problems with the cooler in this because it's indoors, and that makes sense. We can make indoor buildings cold or hot. That's not a problem. Now, obviously, these builds are normally they're in cooler climates and they're made hotter so it's kind of the opposite here because we are in an incredibly hot climate in this asia one and we're having to make it cooler but even still if it's an indoor enclosed building i have no problem with being able to regulate the heat that makes perfect sense uh, it's just the fact that you can place a few of those down in the grass and it suddenly makes this huge ball of cold around the place that I, that's not very realistic as far as i'm concerned uh, one of the peacocks escaped there before we could drop the cage on them so we're going to grab them and throw them back in uh, and like I say, they're, they're relatively happy, but not really. We, we are going to have to go in and do a bit of work here and make sure that they are really um, up to speed, looking good and, and feeling happy about it. Uh, here I'm just sort of covering up this habitat door. Would love a couple of different options habitat door-wise, some white, white ones or you know plainer metal ones or something for this sort of thing would be really useful. Let's have a look at one of the peacocks then and see... Oh, no, that's a, st <laughs> that's a statue. Uh, see what they need. Okay, so here's the big boy. Uh, right, so welfare, so nutrition should be fine, um, social, uh, too few adults, okay, so they actually want a few more of them, that's fine, but also space is way low, and obviously if we put more in, the space is going to go even less, so currently they have 50% of the space they need, uh, habitat, the main problem is plants, hopefully, um, hopefully that'll fix when we get some more space, uh, and obviously we don't have any food enrichment, because that still seems to be bugged, so... Um, it looks like we have to kind of double double the room they've currently got. Let's have a look at the uh, space they can get around. So they can actually do quite a bit. They can get up onto that middle section there. They can get into the water there if they need to. Yeah, but I do think what we're going to do probably is pop this wall out here. 
Let's come out of here a sec. Uh, pop this wall piece out here and make that to be the uh, the way out of this place. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Uh, that and that. Yep. Um, and that bit of wall as well. In fact, we'll move you rather than just get rid of you because we're going to want a clear way out here, aren't we? Do something like that. Uh, Oh, that's broken again. That's really annoying. Sometimes X doesn't work for rotating, shifting between rotate and move. Makes stuff very arduous to build, unfortunately. But you know what? Beta's got a beta. There we go. I'll bring that that way. So it sits nice. Can we get a spot on? I don't think we can actually, so we'll, we'll favor the... Oh, there we go. No, no, not quite. Ugh, it'll do. Um, right, so let's get rid of that piece as well. There we go. So we'll have that going outside. We need a. There we go. So we need a smaller piece there to fill that in. Uh, like that. And I don't want it that high actually. So I think we'll even bring this down. There we go. That seems about right for a little doorway. So, uh, where are these arches are concerned, some of them are classed as arches, the, the sort of rounded pieces. Some of them are classed as arches. That's actually classed as a roof, but I, I wouldn't. I would class that as an arch, actually, but you know what? I, I didn't make this game, did I? Uh, now, I'm hoping there's a wall that will fill in that little gap. Yeah, there it is, look. Um, is that it? Or is it that one? It's that one, which is interestingly, it's not on the grid, but that one is on the grid and looks like it does the same thing. So that's good that they've given us the option, though. There we go, just to fill the gap in there. Nice. And then uh, let's do that there. Okay, so let's give us that. Now, what I would really like is like half of that one, which I don't believe is there, unfortunately. Um, let's see what we could do though. If we put that in there, is that going to be? Is that going to be too low? Let's have a look. Same piece. No, I don't think so. Is it? That's that's okay for head height. Okay, cool. Right, so we'll have that in there then. Um, and where are the wall surrounds bit station surround bits? There we go. Hopefully they're high enough. Oh, not quite. Not quite. I was just hoping for those to be a bit taller. Um, I don't think we've got any odd bits, right, that aren't on the grid, apart from those curved bits that we've just seen. Let's have a look. What I was going to do is use two wall pieces sticking out like a door, you see, so it looks like there's a door that's closed. Um, but it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to do that today, unfortunately. Um, okay, never mind. Never mind, we'll just leave it open for now and we'll just we'll use our imaginations. We'll imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Um what was that off? A proper flashback to a TV show then. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. No idea. Um okay. There we go. So there's gonna be the exit out onto a courtyard. Um so let's go into barriers then and let's try this hedge one there's no reason why this hedge one wouldn't be fine I don't think um, as far as uh, as far as the peacocks are concerned I don't imagine anyway that they wouldn't be and it's a bit different it's one we haven't used yet so let's do something like we're gonna have to move that um, that's a move that uh, thing there. But otherwise, and this might be okay. Let's take the length down that way a bit. Go out this way. Turn curves on, and we'll just follow this curve down here. Just because it was silly not to. And then we'll take it back in that way. Like that. Yeah, okay. So now, we, now there are buttons that do this, and I keep forgetting them. There we go. Okay. That's plus or minus, by the way. It's doing that for us. Uh, we'll do that and then we'll put it just right in afterwards. There we go. So we're going to move. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Let's move it into line up with that hedge. No, no, no. 
There we go. And then that's all sort of links together then, doesn't it? We'll get rid of that piece there just so it looks like that's what's meant to happen. There we go. Okay, yeah, I feel like I feel like a hedge would be fine. Actually, would maybe brick would be better. The hedge looks a little bit it's too neat, isn't it? Um Maybe brick would be better suited. Let's just have a quick look in the Zoopedia and see um, and see uh, what they, how tall they can go, how high they can jump. Uh, grade one fence, so they don't need, they're not going to break through anything. Um, I thought it gave us a height somewhere. Is that somewhere else? As in, I thought, I thought it said somewhere how high it had to be. Because I don't, I feel like this is probably too high, but I wonder whether a meter one would be too small. They could quite easily jump over that bit. I suppose the only real way is to, is to check it out, right? Let's try uh, making this into brick instead. Uh, not, not, not um, Gabion. I don't like the Gabion. There we go. And then lowering it down to a meter. See, it look, looks better to me. That looks like it's more like we can make that look like a courtyard. I suppose the trick is to come in here and have a look at traversable area. And uh, oh, he's got to got to let that re-register for him. Uh, oh no, we haven't because we haven't got rid of the null barrier yet. Apart from that bit there, look. Um, now we've got to we've got to find a way to click the null barrier. I think there's a bit over here somewhere. There we go. And it selects paths for some reason. Barriers. What you can do is get rid of those. Is that it? It'd show it up otherwise, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. Let's play that then. Um, let's check your traversable area now. Beautiful. So it's showing that you can't jump over that. So I say that's pretty good. And I imagine that's increased your. Terrain size is now huge. How's that done for implant? Oh, I'm perfect. We're now back down into coverage as well. I mean, still a little over, to be honest, if we want to do some planting out here, uh, which we probably do. Um, that's going to be a little uncomfortable, but there you go. It is what it is. So let's move this out. I think we're going to use that. We'll get rid of... Uh, actually, we'll keep that as well. We'll go like this. There we go. Because that can stay there. We're going to have to move the food out here as well, which we can do, and the water for now as well, just till we find figure out what we're doing. But then we're going to have a path come out here. Uh, four meters seems a little. Oh, that's three meters. Sorry, wrong queue. That's what I say. That doesn't look right. Four meters would be better. There we go. And we'll keep it to this red herring bone. Where is it? Um. Tree bark, no, red herringbone, there we go, herringbone path. What's up here? Who, who's not happy? Low welfare. Ah, you're going to be, you're going to be warm, aren't you? I know what's going to happen. You're going to come out here and you're going to get red up. Yeah, thought so. Right, okay. Well, the only way to fix that is to use one of these silly coolers, and I'm just going to have to do it because that's how the game works. So, um, let's go. Uh, habitat, heaters and coolers, small cooler. Like I said, I've done it in there. I have no problem with that. Makes perfect sense. Um, it actually does look a little like the walls are holding it in as well, interestingly. Oh, I didn't know that. But we can place one of these down in the middle here. Yeah, and it pretty much covers the entire thing. So we'll knock it up to 20, and we're going to make it to be 25. Is going to manage it? Wild dogs given birth. Oh, let's go and see the baby wild dogs. Let's just check the temperature on this first. There you go. That'll do. You go in them corners, it's your own fault, all right? Oh, that one needs to be turned way down. 25. There you go. Happy now? Get out of that corner then, eh? Moron. Uh, okay, right, so they're temperature-wise, they're fine now. Um, so all I'll do is take these 
and drop him down into the ground a little. So we can't see him. Oh, these horrible smoke. I think you can do it enough so that you don't see them actually at all. Oh, I'll go with that little bit there. Okay, let's slow down time a minute. Let's just quickly go and see our little wolfies. Where are they? Uh, our little uh, African dogs. Uh, oh, that's the oh, that's the enhanced meat. Look at that. that's horrific. <laughs> Where are they? There's 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 some meat. Okay, I don't know why that's there. Here's one. Hey, buddy, what's your name? Who's that? Tahir. Hi, Tahir. Have you got any brothers or sisters? Uh, there's your there's your mom. We're all going to put on contraceptives now, so that we don't have the same problem again. Uh, who's this? That's Dad, isn't it? Uh, there's Dad. Good stuff, Dad. Have you just had the one little puppy? Ah. Oh. oh no, no, there's another puppy as well. Who's who else is in here? To here and Darren. Darren. You can't name a dog Darren. <laughs> Awesome. Well, I'm hoping they are, uh, they're doing all right. He's getting out of the water. Look at Darren. Go. Darren, you're adorable. I'm sorry about your name. Look at them prancing about. So cute. Hee <laughs> hee. Good stuff. Right. Anyway, I, <laughs> I want to... Um, we're getting sidetracked. I want to build a gazebo. Where are we? I want to build a gazebo out here. So I'm going to do that. Okay, there we go. I'm not massively happy with this, to be honest with you. The green bit, um, it's quite flat and dull. I know it's meant to look like a a garden, but um, I don't know. What I would love to be able to do, if, if I could figure it out, is a way of doing those stripes. You know those stripes they have on really posh gardens where it's like heart, it's like a line of rolled grass and then a line of mowed grass, uh, and it gives you that slightly darker stripe. I had a little look around. I can't find anything that I could put down that sort of replicates it but yeah i think that would make it really sort of pop um but otherwise it's it's fine i guess we've got a bit of a courtyard here again i just put through uh, can i be totally honest with you i've kind of done this because the animals needed it as opposed to particularly wanting to and i think you can tell that i didn't really want to do this um but i think yeah a little bit more time again i'm just very conscious that we're coming towards the end of the beta now i want to try and do loads of 
of cool things before it goes away and kind of managing this kind of thing for a few pee fouls isn't really something that really enthuses me uh, but i think from here it looks great and then we've i found this massive gate as well which is awesome way too ostentatious far too big it says zoo like it's the entrance or whatever but uh, what a great piece i had to put that down there as well um but yeah overall i'm really happy with the uh, the conservatory i think the, the foliage inside is really good just uh just them fussy fussy little pea fowls um oh well we, we'll give them a break i guess they're quite cute I want to see him. He hasn't actually like popped open his feathers yet. I don't know how you get it because it's like a mating thing, right? Indeed, that one's just pooed. But apart from that, we haven't actually seen that mating ritual yet. It'd be nice to see some people enter here as well. They can. Um, but nobody is just yet. Let's let's speed up a little bit and just see if we can get a few people in here. I've noticed that most people are actually just sort of hanging around there. So let's get let's get some money out of them. Where's them? Uh, Where's their donation boxes? Uh, guests donation box. There we go. Come on then. Think they're good? Get some dollar dollar in there, eh? Maybe they'll realise they can come in. Here we go. There's a few coming in there. A few people come out to wonder and just stare at the peacock. That's pretty good. There we go. Happy with the gazebo. I think that turned out quite cute. Trying to do like a Victorian style. It's pretty tricky at the moment. We could do with some more like ornate white pieces. Most of the ornate bits we've got is this sort of like copper metal. There we go, people are coming in and having a look around. That's good, yeah? Awesome stuff. Right, thanks for watching, folks. Till the next one, be good.